First time I've ever owned a piece of property that once we got, I stopped looking at everything else. I took off all the apps off my phone because I have zero interest in anything else. Boy, they got a bunch of snow up on the mountains. I've been able to get back in there with two wheel drive even before I got my tires, but it wasn't as muddy as it is now. We put more gravel on this little section up here than anywhere else on the road. This is so pretty. Look how green. Look how green the dang on grass is. Just look how green it is already. So I mean look, the, this is the thinnest spot if we put more gravel right here. So, plum trees across the front, but you don't want me to take those two maple trees out. And we're going to be mowing up here. I'm going to be cutting weeds down up here in no time. I wonder if there's a vine. In a matter of a couple of weeks, they were just giant. I wonder if there's a vine we could put across the front of this. What, what, I want to put something in where animals. I feel like if you put raspberries up there, that I don't. Are I, going to babe, they have it. they have thorns on them. Raspberries? Yeah. Good. Maybe they'll leave them alone. Long. Selfie Sunday. <laughs> this is where the shop's going to be. It's going to be facing the house. I'm going to dig back a little bit of this, change the transition. You can see the grass is already trying to come up. If you look down here at the ground, it's going to be like last year where it went from snow to no snow to mud to six foot high weeds in what seemed like a few weeks. And so I'm going to get a, a pasture mix put down on this so I can at least uh, use it for animals and um, I'm, I, now that I have all the trees for the most part the stumps cut out I'll be able to use the brush hog to cut down the uh, to keep the weeds down a lot of trees got snapped off this year by the snow weight so if this is the property line I want to put in another the area up there that I used the big D6 dozer where, where we initially thought we wanted the house. Now the house is here. Were these T-posts here or did you put those in? Those T-posts serve the property line so they go up like a hundred feet. Oh. So that's the direction that we own. We own up over that hill. Someday I'll thin out all those maples to where we can have trails and stuff back in there. Um, but to me, since it's such a pie-shaped piece of property, to me it needs a second entrance to where people don't have to drive by, drive up the main entrance. You know, if I'm running the sawmill up here. Well, if you get your tractor and stuff though too, you're gonna want another entrance. Yeah, but all these trees are gonna have to go away. But which doesn't hurt my feelings, especially the little little ones, but these big ones I sure like, but you can see the big ones are keeping the snow from melting. Whoops, keeping the snow from melting down here. Somebody's been running a four wheeler up here. So we're walking the property line. If I got this all just kind of smoothed out with the tractor before I put a bunch of pasture mix in, you know, if I got rid of all this, all this stuff. I mean, this could be a fun little, awesome sled hill. This would be a great little spot to have us a, a, what do you call it, a baseball diamond for the kids. 
I just think I'm gonna have to take a bunch more trees out. So if I put my sawmill up here, this is where having a road that goes down the edge of the property line down to the road down there. I think that's perfect. And then I could put an apple orchard kind of in between, have a little buffer. Remember the, remember the weeds? Oh. oh yeah, look at that. And then someday, I'll thin all that off. But look at, they're already budding out. Look at the trees are already budding out. It's so crazy to me. It is springtime. You remember when we came up and made that video about where we thought we wanted the house? Um, it was snowing five minutes ago. <laughs> What do they say? If you don't like the weather in Idaho, wait five minutes. I should have told you we were going to get out. I love it. I can't imagine waking up here. I can't imagine living full time. It's the first time I've ever owned a piece of property that once we got, I stopped looking at everything else. I took off all the apps off my phone because I have zero interest in anything else so this is the hole where I tried to dig down and hit water where the well witcher thought uh, water would be right now it's pretty moist and pretty damp and I'm super tempted there's my stake marking it I'm super tempted to try and push my sand point down into the dirt right now because I think right now it would take it this week's goals are to transplant all of the plum trees these plum trees are part of what makes this property special to me and I pruned them last year to try and keep them let me look at these things are about to go crazy I probably should have transplanted them a couple weeks ago but it's just too muddy we're gonna get all these transplanted and then we're gonna dig this big hunk of dirt out that we used last year with it was just leftover dirt and that's right up there where the, the trailer is that's where the shop's gonna be so we're gonna start on that shop pretty quick <laughs> 